Hello, everybody. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you. A Colorado low will be sliding out of the Rockies, bringing a winter storm to the northern plains with the potential for whiteout or even blizzard conditions and three days in a row of severe weather to the central plains. The latest coming up in this update. Let's get right to it with the severe weather risks each and every day as we go through the next three, beginning on this date. Uh, as we head into our Monday night, the risk for severe weather will be making its way through the Carolinas. The orange area is an enhanced area of severe thunderstorm risk. So from Charlotte, Columbia, all the way down into central Georgia, south of Atlanta, and just off to the east of you, uh, west of you rather in Savannah. The yellow area, by the way, a slight risk of severe thunderstorms. We'll have more on the ongoing severe threat, what's happening right now in just one moment. Uh, here's a look at the summary then as we go into the day for tomorrow. Nationally speaking, here's a day two risk looking as we head into your Tuesday, a small area in eastern Kansas where we once again will have that enhanced risk of severe weather. All modes of severe weather will be possible in this particular area. So just off to the west of the Kansas City area, we're talking about you folks in Emporia, Wichita, and Salina uh, all seeing that enhanced risk of severe weather. All modes, tornadoes, very large hail, and numerous severe thunderstorm warnings with gusty straight line winds as this Colorado low moves into the central plains. For Kansas City, Columbia, on up to Kirksville, Missouri, Quincy, Illinois, Burlington, as we look off to the east into or west rather into portions of uh, Grand Island, Nebraska, and Omaha, a risk of severe thunderstorms there as well. Windy thunderstorms, and then this will extend all the way down into central Texas and areas including uh, the Metroplex, uh, Dallas-Fort Worth, as we go through. Again, that's your Tuesday risk of severe weather. A quick look at the Wednesday risk. As this Colorado low shifts east, so does the severe weather risk as we head into your Wednesday. So April is beginning off not like a lion, but like a wet cat. It's really angry. Look at this extensive area of enhanced risk for severe weather. All modes of severe weather will be possible. It includes major metropolitan areas of Chicago, Indianapolis, uh, all the way into western re western reaches of Ohio, western Kentucky, and western Tennessee. So Louisville, Nashville, Memphis, uh, Greenville, as we look down into uh, the area of Mississippi, northern Mississippi, northern Louisiana, and almost all of Arkansas, including Little Rock, Pine Bluff, and on into the Boot Hill of Missouri, that includes uh, the Springfield area, as well as St. Louis, all in that enhanced risk for severe weather. In fact, Springfield right on that boundary between the slight risk in yellow and the enhanced risk of severe weather. Let's take a look then at the, the wintry weather expected in the northern plains. This is just a little bit wild, but as we look at the snow potential over the next 72 hours, so here's 24-hour snowfall potential as we look into the uh, mountains of California. Uh, Utah, Western Colorado, look at that. Big time snow potential in the next 24 hours in these particular areas. What do these colors mean? Well, they're representative of some heavier snowfall amounts between six to 10 inches of snow where you see the brighter shades of yellow on the maps here. So that means some areas could be picking up over a foot. Now, what's going on as this Colorado low exits Colorado is gonna bring the threat to severe uh, a winter type weather up into the Northern Plains. Northern parts of South Dakota, North Dakota, much of Minnesota and into the Great Lakes will experience this. So as we go out 72 hours as we head into the uh, time frame of Wednesday, the snowfall potential that is expected by the National Weather Service shows Rocky Mountain snow in and around West Yellowstone, also in the mountains of Idaho, uh, also in the mountains of Colorado with uh, heavy amounts of snow. But look at the snowfall potential on the flat country here in the Dakotas. So as we sneak through here, we're going to see the potential for let's say four to 12 inches of snow in eastern North Dakota, northeastern South Dakota, and most of the northern half of the uh, state of Minnesota. This does not include Minneapolis, St. Paul. It's just to the north of there. So as you get into the lakes country, Bemidji, Brainerd, anywhere you see these yellows, a solid bet at four to 10 inches of snow, Duluth and the North Shore, not out of the question there as well. So heavy snow from this system as well. Let's get to that hour by hour forecast and we'll I 
identify the areas of concern. Let's take a look at this model here. This is the American model. We'll go ahead and walk through the entire nation. So tonight's shower and thunderstorm chance will exit very quickly off the Atlantic. Now, as we head into the morning hours on your Tuesday, this is 7 a.m. Central Time, a band of moderate snow and heavy south winds will work its way in. And this first initial band or shot of snow will do some accumulation as we work into the mid-Tuesday hours. But the main event just lifting out of the Rockies. Meanwhile, the snow will have been falling throughout the day in western Montana, western Wyoming, western Colorado, and the south winds lacing the uh, central plains with Gulf moisture. Then check this out. Showers, thunderstorms developing Nebraska down into Kansas. Here's the heavy band of snow from the Black Hills and the, um, the, the areas of northern and western South Dakota through central Minnesota and northern Wisconsin. Very heavy precipitation, thunder sleet, thunder snow. Iowa getting a good chance of some solid thunderstorm activity all the way down into Texas, as we showed you with the severe weather threat for Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. We're not even at daybreak yet. So overnight thunderstorms in Iowa. And this lifts out into the area near Chicago. This is what we in meteorology call a triple point low. It's a area where we do have a warm front associated with a cold front out here. So in this area here, we could have some additional spin as we go into the Wednesday morning time frame. So this means nocturnal thunderstorms could be strong to severe. Meanwhile, Wednesday morning, daybreak, we're talking big time snow uh, in places like Fargo, North Dakota, Northeast South Dakota, all the way up near Aberdeen and Northern portions of Minnesota, including Duluth, all the way out in towards Bemidji, Minnesota as well. Now, as we head through that Wednesday time frame, here comes our severe weather risk in the afternoon heating of the day in the South. Arkansas, that looks like initiation there and lifting sharply and uh, well, really strongly as we work our way into the Ohio. Ohio River Valley. So Indiana, western parts of Kentucky, as well as Tennessee will be seeing the onset of these storms as we go through your Wednesday night. Meanwhile, the snow, heaviest of which, will be pushing out into places like upstate New York, where we could get some icing going on there. That will push out into Vermont and Maine. Look at the severe weather threat. Lingering, very heavy rain, copious amounts of rainfall from this stagnant area or front right here. Heading into your Thursday, there is a risk for some more severe weather here in the Central Plains with another low pressure pressure system developing in the Rockies of Colorado once again. If this takes place, this could be a big time snow producer in the Denver metro area, thanks to that upslope engine that can get rocking and rolling there. Not, that's a look at the uh, latest with regards to that. Now a quick look at our uh, rainfall potential as we go through. So let's take a look at that as we take a look at the precipitation amounts with regards to this system. I'm sorry, here we go. So as we go through the event here, and this gets us into Wednesday and Thursday, so we'll see uh, rainfall amounts really picking up and helping out some drought area in northern Minnesota, parts of the Dakotas as well, seeing uh, over an inch to up to two inches of liquid equivalent moisture in that very wet, heavy snow. Meanwhile, from Arkansas, northeast corner, Boot Hill of Missouri, these areas could be picking up two to five inches of rainfall under those, well, stalled cold front type of storms that will linger in that area for the better part of a couple of days. And yes, even more developing as we go into Friday as well. So very heavy rainfall from basically most of northern Arkansas, eastern portions of Oklahoma, southern parts of Missouri, and on in towards the Ohio River Valley. Now, as far as snowfall, we've already gone over that. So that's a look at a wild begin to this month of April. And it's no fooling, folks. It is going to begin like an angry wet cat. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Hutch'sWeather.com for the latest. Please click the follow button on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube. But more importantly, stay weather informed this week. Make uh, changeable travel plans if you're in the Northern Plains with winter storm conditions possible there.